right, so this is it, getting ready for paint. That's where we're at with everything. See that door? Just gonna have them rework this door. Man, I wish the camera would pick up more than that, but you guys can see dented all right here. Scratched all the way down. I'm gonna have my guy fix the quarter panel scratches here. Pretty much this whole side. <clears throat> Got the badges on. Still waiting on a few other things. The ghost lights for the doors. Switch the markers out with LEDs. Show you guys that. And then back here, waiting on the blacked out 745i logo. I trimmed it out and cleaned up all the glue. Those black BMW badges look sick. So, but this is what it looks. This is what it looks like before paint. Lauren's grabbing all the stuff, getting painted. Got the side skirts. Bumper's still up there. I'll probably have to go up there and get that. Don't drop it, babe. Show you guys this door that I ended up getting online. Most of these parts I got online actually weren't badly priced. What cost me was the shipping, and this door, no good. I mean, the guy in the listing said, you know, it was pretty much everything good on it. You know, he did show a few scratches and dents, but I mean, this thing was definitely road hard, put away wet. The trim around the door here is all rotted out. I think the glass inside was cracked, so I ain't even gonna bother using this. Yeah, especially with the partition, it's probably more work to switch everything over and then work this door than it is to just fix the dent, use minimal bondo as I can on the door that's already on there. And I don't even think this one had the lights, so I'd have to switch all the door lights, you know, the courtesy lights that... Yeah, no thanks. So, send this thing back to them. Maybe someone else can use it. Really, it needs to be in the scrap yard. That door's definitely seen its day. There's like no trim left on the side. It was all rotted out and gone. I think these hinges are seized. Yeah, I'm all right with that. So, but just a quick one. We'll get that 745 on there. Get this down to paint. Get this thing prepped. Get the bumpers back on it. We'll keep you guys updated. All right, guys. So real quick, I got the chrome ones off. Basically, you, get the, you guys are debadging or de emblem. Just get a heat gun, plastic pry bar, pop them off. I cleaned up the glue with a little eraser. But I got the blacked out ones here, and we're gonna see if I can get these on straight and how they look. See if they're even the right ones, really. So you can see, it looks like there might even be a little template in here, but you can see I templated it. That's the straight packing. Actually, yeah, there is a template here. Okay, so basically how to do this, what they want you to do, pull this off, it stays on the bottom there. That way your spaces and everything, whoop, hope I didn't mess that up. Looks good, looks good. It's going to stay there hopefully. And I'm going to line the end of the eye up with the back of the tape here. And then I had the bottom. This one is a little bit smaller. Make sure everything straight. That's good. That seven's a little off. definitely smaller than the chrome ones I took off. Kept it pretty straight with the tape line down there. Pull the tape. Oh. Nice. How we look? Good. Not bad. Good job.
So it's about two and a half weeks later. Got a call. I'm heading to the shop now. I got a call last night that the BMW was all set. It just was some of it wasn't put back together. And you know, obviously I took most of it apart, so I wasn't expecting them to put too much together on it. But uh, you know, it's not completely done. I gotta finish putting it back together, pick it up, finish putting it back together, um, and then send it back to them, you know, get it buffed and all that stuff. You know, cars always look disgusting after it hits the body shop, you know, between dust and overspray and sanding bondo and all that stuff but uh getting ready to go grab it bring it back to the shop see what she turned out looking like all right so here it is just got it back you can see what it turned out looking like definitely looks nice they did a real great job on this door you can see the body line few little things here and there but I'm guaranteeing there's not too much bondo on there they even fixed underneath there for me there's a few scratches and on the quarter panel it took care of this thing's definitely dusty definitely gonna need a, a wash a buff the inside's got dust in it all over the dashboard and the steering wheel so definitely some sanding involved here but finish getting this thing back together get the front bumper on I got a few mods that I'm going to be doing on it. Ghost lights in the doors. Uh, I got an amp I'm putting in here. I got uh, a few LED upgrades, things like that, just the typical stuff. But, man, I wonder what kind of trees this thing was parked under. It's the back bumper. He had some scratches over here. Took care of that. slowly but surely getting it together all right guys so it's a lot later in the day I finally got this thing back together um, man I, I mean getting it together cleaning up all that dust I forgot how hard it is these bumpers to do with all the little pieces and clips and all that stuff but I got it pretty lined up for the most part um, starting to come together got the inside wiped off but you guys can see I didn't put the side skirts on and I want to bring up a good point you know my fault at this you know always always test figure parts before you send them out for paint so now I obviously ordered the wrong side skirts it was actually for a long wheelbase this is short wheelbase so I got uh, two rocker covers nicely painted to match the car and it doesn't work for this car so I got to reorder the side skirts but this is where I'm at now and uh, maybe do a walk around, show you guys real quick a couple of the mods I'm doing now, and then show you guys the rest of the mods that we're gonna be going through and putting on this thing slowly but surely. But check it out. So, got this side all cleaned up. You can see, I mean, the, the door, you know, really impressive. Obviously, moving on to the rims and all that stuff, but got the front bumper on, got the grill on. Still need to take this thing to get. Uh, Buffed afterwards, got some scratches in the windshield too I like to try to buff out. Um, we will be changing out these, like I had mentioned, got those over there, switch that to LEDs. Here's this side all cleaned up. Here's another quick mod I popped on here real quick for the back windshield. I think it makes it look nice. Grab that off uh, eBay. And then got the rear bumper on, rear bumper wasn't too bad. And then also had some amp work I had to do. Um, you know, the logic systems like to fry on these things, so I had to fix the amp. So I got the trunk all taken care of. Got the insides all done. But opening the door on these BMWs, they got the courtesy light underneath. And I got a nice little mod for that. Nice little simple mod for that we're going to be doing. We'll show you guys. And we'll run through the rest of these mods we got. All right, guys. So... Getting to it, a couple of the mods I got here. Um, I got the little caps for the rims to match the logos. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm gonna put these on yet or if I'm gonna end up just getting new rims for this thing, so held off on this. Um, majority of it is just LED switches. You gotta make sure with these uh, you know, Mercedes and a lot of the newer cars that you know you switch it out to LEDs, you gotta make sure you get the you know the anti-flicker or the CAN bus um, 
resistor with it or else you'll get the you know error message on the dash the flickering lights and all that stuff so i got some for the headlights we're going to be switching out i also got ones for the halos to get rid of the yellow halos make them that you know that clean white look got that not sure if i'm going to need a can bus on that i should be all right without it and then i got a couple you know reverse lights turn signals i believe these bulbs are made with the resistor built built in these little small i th think these are the plate lights i got so when you're searching these things just keep that in mind you know you'll get that anti-flicker light or you know it'll tell you a bulbs out when it's not because the resistance of the led is you know a lot uh you know the, the load is a lot less on an incandescent bulb as opposed to led bulb but getting off to these ghost lights pretty cool feature I'll show you guys how to pretty much take the normal stock courtesy light out of the door and then pop these suckers in we'll show you guys what i got let's get set up check it out all right guys so the nice little feature bmw has when you go to open the door it's got the courtesy lights underneath there's the driver door but i'll show you guys how to install these things pretty much get you set up all you need is a screwdriver this is what these guys look like. They come, these ones come with a little extended plug. And then here's the thing itself. It's pretty much got a projector image in there. And then it's got a little thing on here. You could kind of adjust the image the way you want it. But pretty simple. Just plug it in. Line up the little tiny pins in there. Like that, got it plugged in. And then all it pretty much takes, just pop the old one out. And that's probably why they give you the extended one because the wire on these barely got any room there plug this one in oh, it looks like we're gonna have to adjust this a little bit That simple. I'll show you guys what it looks like with the light off. Turn the shop lights off. Open the door. Boom. Nice little BMW logo. Got them all like that. It's the passenger side. Rear door. One in there. You can see it underneath there. So nice, nice little feature to have. Little conversation piece. All right, guys, another one here real quick. We'll show you how to install these uh, side markers, or at least how I do, you know, without pulling the inner fender off or whatever. There's a little clip on there. I just use a little, you know, non-marring trim tool. Here's a little piece. These things are polarity sensitive too, but get you guys set up here. Just use this tool. There's a little clip on this side. Try to get it in there where you can. You'll find that clip, push the clip. She just pops right out. Unplug it. So basically with this one, it uses the stock plug. You pull the bulb and put this clip in here. I don't see a negative and positive, but you gotta make sure you line it up. So 50% chance that we'll get it right the first time. Before I clip it in, we're going to see if it works here. Hit that signal. There we go. You can see the difference, the big LED strip. The other one was just a tiny one. So pretty much make sure everything's plugged in. Get it in there. We'll get the front of it in there first. And then the back will lock it in. All right, guys. So I'm going to wrap this one out. It's been a long day. Knocked out a good amount of mods, got this thing back together. Uh, I did find the new side skirts, um, had to buy them used, but you know, it is what it is. But like I said, big point, <laughs> you know, always, always dry fit your parts before you send them out for paint or, you know, go to figure that they're going to fit or not. You know, my mistake, you live and you learn, whatever. Um, you guys could see when we packed up those parts, most of the stuff when I said to the shipping, when I, when I, most of the stuff when I sent it to paint, it was still wrapped up. The bumper, the side skirts, all that stuff. But, 
you know, it is what it is. Got the new ones on order. Wait till they get in, get them painted. Um, probably gonna maybe come in tomorrow, knock out a few of the mods, you know, get those anti-flickers on there. The rear plate lights, LED, you know, I'm gonna do LEDs all the way around, but that's what it looks like for now, you know? And like I said, guys, you know, this this whole series here, this whole, this BMW, the whole, all the mods we're doing, paying for this thing, that all came from flipping cars, you know? And I just, I put this video off for a few different ways, you know, how to is this and that, things you can do. Obviously, you guys know I like the mods, customized stuff, but, you know, us as mechanics, make that extra cash you know do those side jobs make those flips you know this all came from flipping those cars you guys you know i'll try to put a link up top you guys check out all those videos between the equinox the uh what i got a buick out there the saturn we flipped the uh pathfinder we had the magnum i mean all those cars you know just you know a little bit a little save the money stacking it and it paid for pretty much everything gonna pay for the plates for this thing paid for all the parts paid for the car I did a fresh oil change on it today all the parts this thing was missing paid for it and done but you know it, it just goes to show you know you get that little side hustle on us and the mechanics you know it opens up a world of not just paying bills our tool bills whatever it is but you know get something like this keep flipping up till you get something yes I'm gonna be driving this one until I flip it for the next one you know it is what it is but you guys out there big on the channel you know make that side hustle money so but about done with this one for the day. Getting ready to get out of here, guys. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Check you in the next one. Signing out.